Sagoli Sagwake, Gatnyat Yulats Niungat. Hi everyone, uh, my English name is Jen Falk. Uh, my Oneida name means smoke going straight up. And um, I'm an Oneida tribal member and we are here on, the, on my farm, um, Gahulahele on the Oneida reservation. Um, our farmer rancher grant this year, we applied, we had um, a partner farm um, called Ungwankwa and our farm and that farm, um, we both needed uh, summer help, but we didn't have the funds to, to pay someone full time. And so we wrote a grant to use this as a labor model to figure out if one person um, could work both farms and, and be helpful and get paid a good wage and learn a lot. Um, and so we were able to hire a young man and he was awesome and he spent, um, all summer working on either our farm or the other partner farm. At the scale we're at, we're at a pretty low production scale um, and so is Unguanqua. Um, and so we don't really um, bring in enough, um, we don't bring in enough revenue that we could pay someone full time. We need help but we don't need 40 hours of help. And so it was um, really a, a blessing to have him um, and to share him, share him, his skills and his, the cost of him um, with another farm. Obviously it was a grant, but you get what I mean. In the real world, we would have been sharing the cost um, that was um, necessary to pay him. Um, he did events, they have educational events at their farm. And then here he, he did um, a fair amount of construction, um, he stacked a lot of firewood. Uh, he learned about um, electric fencing. We did some pasture expansion this summer and he was here to help. Um, and he helped with some um, building some infrastructure around our compost pile. Um, did a fair amount of work in the uh, high tunnel um, when it was cool enough. Um, well, it worked out well for a couple of reasons. Um, my husband and I both have nine to five jobs Monday through Friday. And the other farm, they're on farm all the time. And so he was able to work the weekdays, he was able to work at, at their farm. And then evenings and weekends he could spend here. So that worked out good. Um, we used text messaging and notes apps to track his time and to schedule him. Um, he had another job, so we had to be cognizant of that. I think one of the other, um, really important things that we did with the grant was to set aside some money for PPE. So he was able to get some steel toe boots and some ear protection and a hat and work gloves. And you know, I think that we will, um, when the grant is over, we will figure out a way to continue to do it. Because to be honest, the last few seasons that we've been doing this has been stressful. Um, and our apprentice learned a lot. He was exposed to all kinds of exciting things that he thought were cool. In addition to things that weren't so great, like weeding for hours on end. Um, but it was also a great stress reliever for us. Um, we had a good apprentice. He knew what he was doing. He was very skilled and quick to learn. And we could send him out to do something and he'd go do it. And it was very stress relieving. And we know that mental health is important in the world of agriculture these days. Man, I didn't even anticipate how stress relieving it was going to be. So that has been awesome.